Hi everyone, this short video is a follow-up of our first color bootcamp session. In the live color bootcamp session, there were thorough examples done in Photoshop. Now, for you Resolve user who want to test the provided images, the example I provided in the live session may be a little bit too short. So I think I will do this follow-up video. So the main idea of this test is that we always want to process our images in a bigger color space before transforming them into a smaller color space that our display can reproduce. There are only three notes available in the setup, by the way, and you should do your adjustment on the note number two. Activating note number one and note number three will allow you to process your image in a bigger color space, and in this case, it's ACES CCT. By deactivating note number one and note number three, you will be once again processing your images in a smaller color space, and in this case, it's Rec 709, as set in the project settings. So let's go to the first image. In this first image, we can see that playing around with the exposure value to reduce the exposure of the image does nothing much. But as I activate node number one and node number three, it means that I am processing my image in a larger color space. Notice that by reducing the exposure value, I can get back the data that would have been lost when I used smaller color space to process my exposure adjustment. All right, let's go to the second image. In this image, when I am increasing the saturation value, it may seem that everything is fine, but let's see how the same adjustment result when done in a bigger color space. So let's activate node number one and three, and let's do a split screen comparison Now I think it is clear enough how different the result of the same adjustment in two different color space. So now let's drop a gradient window with exposure change in it. And as you can see, the gradient with exposure change looked different in a smaller color space compared to the same adjustment performed in the bigger color space, which appear to be way smoother. So in this third image, notice that we are in Rec 709, and as we reduce our exposure, it seems that there's nothing happen, and that this image only contain solid cyan color. As I'm activating node number one and three to get into bigger color space, you will see that by processing our adjustment in bigger color space, we are able to bring back the detail in the image that would have been lost when we are processing them in small Rec 709 color space. So in this fourth image, let's see how our blur or sharpening tools behave in a smaller color space compared to when using them in a bigger color space. As I increase blur amount while in Rec 709, you will notice that the harsh edges appears on our text. Meanwhile, when I'm doing the same adjustment in a bigger color space, in this case ACCCT, we will get much smoother edges with the same tool. Now in the final image, I'd like to draw your attention into the tool that we probably used a lot, and that is Midtone Detail. Applying Midtone Detail while we are in Rec 709 result in nothing in this image, while activating node number one and three to get into ACES CCT, the same Midtone Detail adjustment reveals that there is some color detail from the image that we can bring back. Well, okay, that's it. I hope this short video will help you to test your tools inside DaVinci Resolve using the provided test images. Don't forget to download the provided DRA files to access the same scene I was using in Resolve. So take care and see you soon in another Max on Color session. Thank you very much.